hey, carpet cleaners, quick question. Where are your customers at? And I don't mean like, why is your schedule so empty? I'm sure you have customers this week. Uh, what I mean is, if you were to go out and find new customers for your carpet cleaning business, where would you go look, right? Where would you go try to find those new customers? I was thinking about this recently because if you look at this blue cabinet behind me right here, this blue cabinet wasn't in my house until just recently. The way that we found this blue cabinet, my wife was scrolling Facebook one day looking at our neighborhood group and she saw a post from a store that's actually right down the street from our new house. And this picture in the post included this blue cabinet. And my wife just happened to see it as she was scrolling through the neighborhood group. The post said something about a sale this weekend. And so she managed to get me in the store. We see the blue cabinet. Next thing I know, it's in my house, right? It's getting delivered to my house. So my wife though, she wasn't shopping for a blue cabinet and she wasn't shopping on Facebook when she was in our neighborhood group. She was actually just browsing, right? She was browsing and she happened to see something and she happened to buy it. Now that happens sometimes, but it doesn't happen all the time. And I wouldn't base your entire marketing strategy for your carpet cleaning business around hoping that people who are browsing for stuff on the internet are going to suddenly buy from you. There's actually a better way, right? So if we talk about browsing behavior, there's another thing called buying behavior. When people are online, sometimes they're browsing for things. They may be on Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest. They may be reading blogs. They might be scrolling through their email. They may be just browsing through the stuff that's in their phone or their tablet, you know, or whatever device they're using. They might be just browsing on their lunch break or browsing in between tasks at work, browsing in between meetings, browsing in bed at night. There's all these places that people go to browse the internet. But when people actually want to buy something, where do they go? Well, it depends on what they want to buy. You know, if they want to buy something that's easy to find on Amazon, they might just go to Amazon, especially if they have Prime, right? If they subscribe to Prime, they're likely to just go to Amazon and uh, buy something and have it shipped by Prime. So Amazon's a great place for people to go buy stuff, right? You can go browse on Amazon, but it's actually a great place to just go buy something directly if you already know what you need. I mean, how many times have you been in the store, you saw something, you thought about buying it, and then you realize, well, actually, I might get a better price on this if I buy it from Amazon. So you just went straight to Amazon and bought it later on that day. So Amazon's a place that people go to buy stuff. Craigslist is a place that people go to buy stuff. Facebook Marketplace is a place that people go to buy stuff, right? So Facebook, people are generally going to browse. Facebook Marketplace, though, is a place where people go to buy. Another place that people go to buy, and this is a big one, is Google. And this is important for the cleaning industry, for carpet cleaners in particular, because if somebody wants to buy carpet cleaning services, where do they go? Well, it's not like they're gonna call 1-800-CARPET-CLEANING. It's not like they're gonna to go to carpetcleaning.com and browse all of the carpet cleaners that are available in their area. I don't know if a website exists like that out there. Most people, they wouldn't shop for a carpet cleaner in that way. These days, most people are pretty well trained to just go to Google when they wanna hire a home service. So if somebody wants their carpets clean in their apartment or in their house or because they're moving out this weekend or moving into a new place or mother-in-law's coming to visit, the traffic areas look bad, they had a spill, whatever, pet accidents, most people go straight to Google when they want to buy. Google's another place that people go when they want to buy. So if you think about advertising or marketing or carpet cleaning business, you could put your money in places where people are browsing for stuff, or you could put your money in places where people are buying things. And if you're just getting started, if you don't have a big budget, I'd highly recommend putting your money in places where people are buying things. I would start in places like Google. Local service ads is a great program by Google. You may have heard of Google Guaranteed. That's a great way to get in front of customers who are ready to buy carpet cleaning services. Google Ads is another great program. You can invest in SEO to try to get your website ranked on Google. You can work on your Google business profile and try to get it to show up locally in the map pack. There's all kinds of ways you can show up on Google. And that's a great strategy to pursue because it puts you in front of buyers, right? Not people who are browsing like on Facebook or Instagram. It's probably better for your carpet cleaning business to show up on Google than to show up on Facebook because Google's where people are buying. It may make sense for you to show up on Facebook as well, but it probably shouldn't be the focus of your strategy. If I were starting out in the carpet cleaning industry now, or if I had a carpet cleaning business and I was struggling to book customers and trying to figure out a strategy, I'd be looking at Google. That's probably what I'd be doing. Uh, if you have any questions about Google, by the way, leave them in the comments. And if this video was helpful at all, hit like. And if you want to grow your carpet cleaning business, hit subscribe. I'm Ruben with Book Cleaning Jobs, and I hope this video was helpful.